Okay, uh, here we go with another build. Um, this motor here, this is a uh, Predator 420 block aftermarket from NR Racing. Um, so this is a stroker motor, and it's going to look just like that motor, but a tad bigger. Now this is that 68 millimeter crank, I believe it's 68 millimeter. That in our race, in our racing cells, the uh, billet rod and a custom piston for that extra stroke. Now this block's already been clearanced, as you can see. For this, uh, we have the stud kit for it. Uh, and this is the stage four head. This is getting a stage four kit and a 307 cam. Um, we got the, the nicer retainers, dual springs, uh, and the and the roller rockers. This has also been I drilled and tapped this for number six A N line to vent the crank uh, crankcase. I have two more engine blocks coming and a whole nother motor. This block is completely stripped down. Um, and I got some stuff from Paul's carts coming. I think it's the, I think it's a coil, but uh, everything here other than that coil is from NR Racing. Um, we got a bunch of other stuff for it. This is where the build's at so far. I'm still debating on whether or not to run a balance shaft in this motor because I'm not sure exactly what the outcome is going to be being is that there's an extra 68 or whatever millimeter circumference difference in this crankshaft if the balance shaft's even gonna fit, it may not even fit. And even if it does fit, what's the balance shaft do to the extra rotating weight when it's generally just designed for the shorter crankshaft that's less rotating weight? So, I don't know. I don't want it to vibrate like hell either. But, um, I may end up just leaving that out because looking at this, I know the balance shaft kind of deflects off to one side, but if you look at that as far as a straight view, I mean, it, uh, just not looking good for using a balance shaft. I mean, it might clear it, but I'm not sure if. I want to put that in there or not. <clears throat> and the side cover is just a, a standard side cover. I didn't opt for the billet cover. Don't really see a reason for that. The motor's not, I mean, 40 horsepower maybe, 45. But as we progress, you know, we'll get the lines made and the top plate and shrouds and all that stuff's going to be made. I'm not going to buy any of that stuff when you can just bend it up out of metal. Um, and yeah, we did get a header for it, a two-stage header. So we'll see how this thing comes along, but this is where it's at so far. And you know the head's torqued down, the rod's torqued down. Uh, this is all set to where it sits right now, except for this. And oh, the other part that I got that I didn't get from NR Racing yet is uh, push rods. Now this particular uh, motor. I mean, with these rocker arms, uses a, uses a 
6 340 push rod. In our racing is either out of them or they're putting them together. But Manton push rods, um, they put me together a custom set just for this motor. It was like 20 bucks to have them make some push rods. And they're the 5 16th push rods, which I got plenty of room for. They're, they're the bigger diameter ones. Um, this here is the. Now these were for uh, that motor. You see, they're really kind of. They're really kind of. Small in diameter and they're chrome only, but I mean, I still kind of like the idea of the 5 16 so I'm going to put those in there, 5 16 and see uh, see how they do. There just always seems to be a shortage of them smaller diameter stock to make these. We do have uh, another billet flywheel. It's on back order, like everything else in the country. Um, it's the 6622 ARC adjustable timing flywheel because I hate using them offset keys because if you don't do it right and you're not paying attention to what you're doing, you'll shear a key and your race day is over unless you're going to tear your motor apart and start swapping keys out to track in between races. And it's just I'd rather just run a, a regular good steel key in there or aluminum key and uh, use the adjustable timing on the flywheel. We're not going to put the electric start on this one, though it does uh, has it on that one. And that motor is also going to get a breather tank. And you can see these lines here. How they're all set up. Let's see. Yeah, there's that other one down there going into the block. that's where this is at so far so as we progress a little further um, I'll either add to or put another video up on this one but tips tricks thoughts ideas you know let me know until uh, next time